Hi, welcome to Auntie Nat's Crochet. Thank you for choosing this video. Allow me to teach you how to play with yarn. Do subscribe to my channel. The subscribe button is at uh, this corner of the video. And uh, do check out my other videos too. They are all as informative and fun to learn as this video. And today I'm going to make a heart shaped leaf in a strand like this. This is actually heart shaped leaf. I had this uh, heart shaped leaf tutorial in another video, earlier video. But now I'm going to make it in a strand like this one long strand. So you can actually do up to the length that you want. You can do it this length or you can do it this length. This length is uh, for, let, let's say you would like to tie your curtain together. I mean you want to put your curtain together. There are holes in between all this heart shape. You can just put it into the hole and you will hold the curtain. Or you can wear it as braces or you can wear it on your neck, your hair. So long this part here, you can just remove it. There are holes here in between. So you can just put it in. So you have some leaves facing this side and some leaves facing this side. Or you can actually iron it and have all the leaves facing this side. You can do that. You can have the leaves all facing this side so it will gonna look like this. But if you're gonna use it to uh, hold a curtain or stuff like that, then you do not need it to one one will face the other side and one will face this side. So it's up to you how long you want it to be and whether you want it to face both on the same side or one face the back and one face the front. Okay, for tutorial's sake, I'm gonna use a plain color one. I'm going to use a green color. I'm using cotton yarn. You can use any type of cotton yarn. In fact, most of the type of yarn you can do this. And the uh, hook size, you can use just about any hook size. So first, I'm going to start off with a chain 5. You first you make a knot. You make a knot and you chain 5. One, two, three, four, five. You chain five. And here you yarn over. You go to the first stitch and do a single crochet cluster. Two single crochet cluster means you yarn over two. So instead of yarn over all again, we are going to make cluster, double crochet cluster, sorry. So I'm going to yarn over and go back to the same spot and pull up a loop and yarn over two. So this is my double crochet cluster. So here I have the chain five. This is a double crochet this is a double crochet but because I leave the yarn on the hook I didn't put through all so that's why these two double crochet are known as double double crochet cluster I'm gonna yarn over all now so again let me show you this is the chain 5 this is the double crochet this is the double crochet and these two double crochet are known as a double crochet cluster. So from here on, chain two, one, two. Remember there's two double crochet here. Take the one over this side. You yarn over. You, we're going to do double crochet cluster on this double crochet remember just now we have three 
parts here this is the chain five this is the first double crochet this is the second double crochet we're gonna yarn over and build our double crochet cluster on this first double crochet you see you're gonna use this whole strand so you're gonna put your hook in we're gonna make six double crochet cluster so this is one this is two this is three this is four this is five you only put through two yeah and this is six you're gonna make six double crochet here So this, you have six unfinished double crochet here and you're gonna have two, four, six, seven. You're gonna have seven, seven loop here on your hook because you have six double crochet, unfinished double crochet here and you have one chain two here. So the first one we're gonna put through one, then we're gonna put through two and again two and again two and again two and again two so here we have one two three four five six so we have six double crochet over this side and now remember we were working on the double crochet on the first double crochet so if I turn it to this side, you will have one more double crochet here. This is a double crochet, the one at the back here. The one at the back here is the chain 5. And this is the double crochet. Because we were working this way, so the double crochet went to the back. Okay. So after I have put through all these, I have two more stitch on my hook, remove the hook, turn around and put back your hook and make sure when you turn around this one goes to the back. Okay, again yarn over and you will see two strand here. This is the chain five, this is the double crochet. So we're going to do six and finish double crochet on this double crochet. Okay, one, two, three, you make sure you put, on, put through two. Four again put through two five six but this time round we're gonna have we're gonna have eight strands here on the hook two four six eight you're gonna have eight on your hook okay and the same thing, the first one always put through one. Then you put through two. This is one time, two time, three time, four time, five time. The first one we put through one, then the rest we put through two. The put through two, we're gonna do five time. And in the end, you will have three strand on your hook put through all three and you will have a hot chip leaf and here I'm going to chain two turn to the back go to this chain two space we have a chain two here just now and 
slip stitch if you notice here you have this and you will have a chain 2 here there's a chain 2 here so we slip stitch on this chain 2 and we're gonna chain 5 to build another leaf 1 2 3 4 5 so you have 5 strand here you yarn over so now there's only one left because we did one on this double crochet one side on this double crochet so we only have this chain 5 so we're going to use this chain 5 and do a double crochet cluster so you don't put through all you just put through two and yarn over again you put through two and you will have three string on your hook and you put through all and you chain two this is the chain two that I mentioned just now this is the chain two space that I was talking about here same thing don't look at these two do not look at this two line here this two is still the chain five we are going to build on this double crochet let's do double crochet here so we're going to yarn over and work on the first double crochet so you have two double crochet here one on this side one on this side so we're going to build on the one on the right so again, you put through two and hold it. So this is one double crochet, unfinished double crochet. This is two unfinished double crochet. Three. Four. five six you put through two only so here you can see I have six unfinished double crochet and here I have a chain two so all in I will have seven stitch on my hook so the first one here, you're going to put through one and the rest we're going to put through two. So this is one, two, three, four, five. So you have half of the leaf. So these two, you're going to remove your hook turn it this way put back your hook and make sure this one goes to the back yarn over and you find this double crochet here I mean if as a beginner if you can't see this when you're doing that double crochet maybe you can add a marker if you want I mean when you're doing that double crochet thing you can add a marker to show you so that this is the the one that i need to work on and not on this chain five i'll show you on the third leaf with a marker and see if it's easier for you so here i have two chain on my hook i'm gonna yarn over i'm gonna use this double crochet and work six unfinished double crochet so this is one, two, three, four, five. Six. Sorry, <laughs> it got over. 
Okay, now you can see it better. You have six here, and you have these two from this side. So now you should have two or six, eight. You should have eight strands on your hook. So the first one, you always chain yarn over and put through only one. And now you put through two. So this is one, two, three, four, five. Oh, five, sorry. Five. Only five. Because here, the first one I did with only... I only put through one on the first one. So only five of it put through two. So the balance, I should have three strand of yarn on my hook. And now I put through all. I chain two, turn to the back, go find that chain two space, it's somewhere here, then slip stitch, so that you have a pointed top here. So here, in order to build another leaf, I have to chain five. One, two, three, four, five. So now let me show you for beginners who would like to use a marker to mark your way in case you get lost. You know, sometimes when you turn to the back, you don't know which strand to use. So now it's easy because when you turn to the back, there's only one. This chain five. So I'm going to build two double crochet cluster on this chain 5 so there's two double crochet here one on the left one on the right you have three strand on your hook you put through all three you chain one and you chain two now for beginners if you're not sure I mean once you book here you might get lost by then so here, you make sure this is your chain 5, this is your double crochet. So you just add a marker at this double crochet, if you want. To remind yourself that after you work on this strand, work on this side. So after this chain 2, I'm going to yarn over, I'm going to use this double crochet. and make six unfinished double crochet so I have one here two three four five make sure you put through two on here and And now you should have seven strand on your hook, which is six unfinished double crochet and a chain two. So here I'm going to put through one, then I'm going to put through two, 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 two. And you have two strand left. Remove your hook. Turn to the other side. And make sure this one stays at the back. Now, after you turn, if you get confused, you're not sure whether you should use this one or this one or this one, this marker will help you. So this is the one that you're supposed to use. And again, one, Two, three, four, five, six. 
6. This time round, you should have 8 strands on your hook. You yarn over 1, and then you yarn over 2, 5 times. By the time you yarn over 2, 5 times, you should have 3 strands on your hook. Yarn over all, chain 2, go to the chain 2 space, <coughs> excuse me, and slip stitch. And if you want to stop here, let's say you just want 3 strand, you just chain 1 and pull tight, and you will only have 3 leaves. Like this, three leaves. So if you want to continue again, chain five, use this and continue to build just like this. This is this length, and this one is this length. So you can build to as long as you want. So this is how it looks like here at this end and this is how it looks like at this end so all you do is you end it with a chain one uh, sorry uh, yeah chain one and pull tight and just cut your yarn and you will have all these lovely heart shaped leaves now thank you for watching hope you like this pattern you can actually shape it around you know like this you can shape it around to make it look kind of like 3D. You can fold it, open it up, or let it just stay 3D like this. Or you can have it flat, or it looks kind of twisted here. Okay, so thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And I'll see you in my next post.